What's up guys, today we're gonna to be installing another product from Keith at Charvonia Designs, one of the build partners here on the channel. If you've seen my last video on the bed tie downs, um, these things offer some big advantages over stock tie downs, so check that video out. But today we're gonna to be installing the bed rail system tie downs. As you can see, we already have the passenger side done. We have one up front, one right here. It's a perfect match, obviously color wise, we went with the red to match the TRD Pro accents. So I'll show you how to get them installed on the driver's side and as we're doing that, we'll talk a little bit about the advantages, very similar to the bed tie downs as well. So let me show you what it comes with real quick and then we'll get them on the truck. So this is everything you're gonna get in the kit. You get two tie downs. So one set, um, if you do, if you order one pair, you're gonna get two tie downs. So you, if you wanna do four like we're gonna do, you need to get two sets, okay? He does send new corrosion resistant hardware. So that's an upgrade over stock. And then um, these pieces here are the mounting brackets that have to slide into your bed rail. This does matter which way you put it on the truck, which I, I will show you. The only thing you're gonna need to get this done is a six millimeter Allen wrench. So before we get them on the truck, we'll give you an up close look. You can see compared to stock, the biggest advantage you're gonna see is the gap that you have to work with is much, much larger on Keats product. Same thing with the bed rail, or I'm sorry, the bed tie downs that I showed you in the last video. If you look at the gap where you have you know the basically the area that you can use to tie down to if you're using bigger straps or heavy duty hooks or anything like that i mean it's not even comparable it's literally i would say probably about double the space that you have in here to work with all right so that is the biggest advantage i mean obviously as i mentioned on the other video these just look a million times better you could actually see you know they're much more streamlined you know low profile they don't have that big knob on them um, but that big gap in there you know that does come in handy when you're tying down to these things now as far as the design of the product itself it's basically same thing as the bed tie downs if you look on the back these back corners they have um they're rounded so if you're going to use rope or anything to tie down to these um, you don't have to worry about them fraying the rope or anything like that and then he also left this middle gap open which that this middle gap i use that all the time on the bed tie downs themselves um, but he did leave it on the bed rail tie downs as well i love the fact that he left that spot open that's got a little bevel inside of it um you know just gives you multiple ways to tie down to these things um, if you're using smaller hooks or anything like that you can use this middle section all right so it's machine 6061 just like the bed tie downs um, engraved and anodized he has his logo on one side it's blank on the other, so you have your option as far as what side you want, up or down. Um, so, and it's just the finish, it, the finish is, you know, it's a beautiful finish to it. So, let's get it on the truck. If you have a Retrax tonneau cover or something similar, you may have to remove, if you have a mounting location right here for your tonneau cover, you will have to remove that. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get that out of the way. Mine is a 14 millimeter. Then we'll go ahead and pop this back black piece off the bed rail itself. So, just by pushing in and pushing towards the back of the truck, it'll slide right out. Then we'll remove the other piece of the mounting loop, uh, the mounting bracket for my retracts. And now we will go ahead and take off the stock tie downs. These are very simple to remove if you've never done it before, very simple. <laughs> Just loosen the knob. And these you can actually take off without sliding them all the way out it's much easier just to slide them out but these mini tie down hooks that you hopefully you can see on the, uh in, in the camera right now they have to be slidden out the back so we're just going to loosen it push in and then slide out and then we do have to lift the rail up a little bit just to get those out of there all right so i'm just going to go ahead and repeat the process for the other two tie downs here okay we're now ready to get the new tie downs onto the bed rail so this piece that i mentioned it does matter which way you put this on if you look at it the top has that raised lip there. Hopefully you can see it in the video, but you'll see it when you're holding it. That has to be facing you. So when you go to slide this in the bed rail, the other thing is too, it's gonna to be a little bit of a tight fit sliding back in here. Um, just because of the raised part of the truck bed here. You can get it in there though, if you just kind of wiggle it. There you go. I mean, it, it does go in relatively easily, but if you have a little trouble there, just you know, play with it a little bit. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze there. Um, now, the reason you want that raised part facing you, if you've never really looked at your bed rails, there's notches inside the channel in here. So that's why you want that raised part facing you because now when you get it lined up where you want it, 
that raised part is going to be in one of those notches and that'll hold it i mean the hardware is going to hold it in place anyway but that's why that raised part needs to be facing you so you get it in those notches inside the channel of your bed rail all right so we're going to slide this one all the way to the front we'll take the second one get this one in there again notch facing me actually i'm sorry before i put that back in there i am going to reuse the mini tie downs um this here i am going to put this in the middle of the two new tie downs that's up to you obviously if you want to or not so let me go ahead and put this back in position now we can go ahead and put this piece on for the back one so the easiest way that i found to get this attached is because you have some play in here and that mounting bracket can come in and out like that get it in position where you want it i have that raised lip inside the notch in the channel of the bed rail like i mentioned and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my right hand here and i'm going to hold the bracket out towards me i already have one of the bolts again they're um, corrosion resistant that he sends with the kit i already got it ready to go i'm going to have the blank side up so as i showed you there's an engraved side and a blank side so holding this bracket out towards me it makes it much easier to get this bolt started. So I'm just gonna get it lined up with a screw hole, just get it one or two turns on it just for it to grab. And now, actually I made it a little too tight. So I'm gonna undo it just a little bit. And now we'll be able to turn this, get it lined up, and there we go. So now I'll just do this another one or two turns and then repeat the process on the other hole. This one you should be able to get lined up okay, but if not, just get your finger in behind here, hold the mounting bracket out towards you, and then same thing. But if you look inside there, it's gonna be lined up already because you already have the other one started. So we're just gonna go ahead and make sure it's where I want it right there and we'll go ahead and tighten both sides down and the torque specs he actually doesn't specify on these i checked the website and i also checked the package that it came with um, i know the torque specs on the bed tie downs are 25 foot pounds of torque so that's what i'm going to do these two um, I'll, I'll double check with him just to make sure that's okay but i'm assuming you know it's this it would be the same as the bed tie downs all right so we're just going to repeat the process for the back one back here don't forget to put your everything back in place up here and uh, we'll wrap the video up. One last thing I wanna mention, and then I'll show you these things in action. They do obviously work with any type of tonneau cover out there because they're actually more low profile than the stock rail tie downs. They even give you a little bit more clearance than stock. So they are compatible with just about any cover out there. Now, as far as using them in action, all you can see I have just a standard size bungee and then just the standard size tie down um, with just a medium size hook on it. So. When you're looking at Keats product, just like the bed tie down that we showed in the last video, let's take a look at the stock piece first. So as I mentioned, you have just that little gap in here to work with. I have that knob tightened down pretty good just to give you a good representation of how it would be on the truck. So when you go to, let's say you're using just a medium size bungee like this. When you go to hook on there, you can get the hook in there, but if you look, you don't have full articulation of the strap. And what I mean by that is if you, if you watch this connection point right here, Let's say I was going, you know, if I wanted to go anywhere at an angle in the truck, the hook goes around the connection point, but it gives you that weird angle because you don't have articulation. What I mean by that is you'll see it right here when I go to Keith, because he left this middle section open, if you're using smaller straps or smaller bungees, if you want to go to that middle, see how now I can go up, down, left, right, doesn't matter. I'm not going to have that kink or that weird angle at the connection site. If you're tying or if you're strapping down something you know heavier or something that you really want to secure well that may matter to you all right so i'll show you the same thing with just this medium size um strap now obviously this is just a medium size hook if you're using heavier duty things this is even going to be more important so we'll take the stock one you hook it on there you can get it on there but it hangs up and it catches you don't have that full movement or range of motion side to side you may have it but with this strap or with this type of hook you don't have it up or down depending on where you're running the strap to 
go to Keith's product, you have full range of motion, side to side, up, down. So just one of the key advantages, you know, these things aren't just for looks, they, they look a million times better, obviously. He does offer them in red, black, blue, and silver. I don't know if I mentioned that, but you can see there are some functional advantages to these things as well. All right, guys, there you have it. I'm gonna get my swing cases back in, but we have the bed tie downs, one in the front, one in the back, two on each side up top, same on the passenger side. Can't say enough good things about these. You know, check them out. Keith is an awesome guy. These things are made in the USA. Love doing business with smaller companies like this, especially when you're dealing with such a great guy like Keith is. Use my discount code that he gave us for the channel here. I'll put that down below. I believe I put it on the screen earlier in the video. But give these things a look. Not only do they look so much better, they offer those functional advantages as well. Definitely worth it in my opinion. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.